Hey, what's up, everybody? Did Donald Trump's employees pay more in federal income tax than Donald Trump did? Okay, so this is coming from uh, more articles that have spun off from this uh, main New York Times article. And I was thinking about this today, and it just it drives me crazy. It really annoys me when anyone does it, when something is misrepresented. And the tax code here is so clearly misrepresented that it is driving me up the wall. And so I want to help give you in this short video just a little bit of clarity here because I know that the word tax is thrown around. They paid more in tax. You've got payroll tax, state income tax, federal income tax. You've got sales tax. You've got use tax. You have a lot of taxes. You have federal unemployment tax. You have state unemployment tax. There are a lot of taxes. You have property tax on your vehicle, on the home that you own. There are so many taxes. And when you just say Trump's employee paid more in tax than he did, we need to clarify this. And then the one article I was just looking at to double check on a couple of things actually did say that the employee paid more in federal income tax than Donald Trump did. Now that is a very specific term and we can absolutely call that either complete misunderstanding or a bald faced lie. Okay. So like I said, I, I'm not defending Trump. I can't defend Trump. I haven't seen his tax returns. I don't know if they're accurate or not because I haven't seen them. And even if I saw the tax return itself, I wouldn't know if it was accurate or not. I'm going to get into more of that on a video coming out. Uh, look for that tomorrow or the next day, you know, Donald Trump, is he a tax cheat? So I'm going to get a little bit more into that on that video. But for right now, this one that just got me through the roof, an employee making $26,000 a year says that they pay more in taxes than Donald Trump. And why are they saying this? They're saying this because they've heard that Donald Trump only paid $750, $750 in taxes. Okay. Well, one, that was referring to federal income tax. And it was referring to one specific year where there's all sorts of other factors in this tax return. How did they come to this conclusion? They have a W-2 from the employee. First of all, I'm going to make several points here. All right. So they have a, they have a W-2 from this employee. They say, I was appalled that I found out that I made, I paid more in taxes than Donald Trump. I am not faulting this employee at all. You want to know why is because they're looking at their W-2 and they're looking at the taxes. They're adding them up. And they come out to more than $750. I am blaming the person who wrote this article because they probably don't understand this either, but they should have fact checked it before they wrote the article and made themselves look like a complete idiot. And again, this could be anyone. You could be writing this about Joe Biden. You could be writing this about Kamala Harris. You could be writing this about uh, Obama. You could be writing this about anyone. And I would post this exact same article, uh, video because it annoys the crap out of me. So what do we have here? The W-2, again, I'm going to put it right here if I have it, shows wages of 20 some thousand, 26, 28,000. It shows federal income tax withholding of a couple hundred dollars. It shows state income tax withholding of a couple hundred dollars. And then it shows social security and Medicare taxes withheld of about 1100 and a couple hundred dollars. So you add those things up and you're in maybe the 2500 range. And I'm doing this without looking at the W2 and I didn't write down these numbers. So forgive me if, if I'm off there. But yes, that is more than $750 of taxes, not income tax. What number on this W2 represents income tax? Only the federal withholding. Well, first of all, that number is below $750. So if you're looking at Trump and saying he only paid $750 of income tax, you can't take all these other taxes and add them up and say they're more than $750, therefore I paid more than him. You've got to compare apples to apples. You know, you can't just say, no, it's more tax. And that's where politicians know. The politicians know this because they understand it. The people writing the news articles, some of them probably do, some of them probably don't. When they say taxes, they're intentionally being vague so that they can say something without literally lying. All right. Well, look, this is a W-2. It is not a tax return. So if you're comparing a W-2 to a tax return, one, that's ridiculous. It's the dumbest thing in the world because this is federal withholding on your W-2. That is not what you paid in income tax. That is simply what was withheld in anticipation of what you may pay in income tax. All right. That is not your tax return. Show me the tax return. 
The second factor here is this payroll tax, okay? If you're adding that in, well, look, Donald Trump gets a W-2 from his companies. I, I don't know that 100% for a fact, but I would bet, I'd bet my CPA license on it that he's getting a W-2 from some company. He's being paid employee wages, okay? If he's being paid $500,000, $600,000 a year, he's paying the Social Security and Medicare. So if you remember those Social Security and Medicare numbers, he's paying that on his wages. There's no way out of that. You can't take a deduction to save on those payroll costs. You can't, those payroll taxes. There's no loopholes to get out of those. He is paying Social Security and Medicare on any W-2 wages that are paid to him. And if his W-2 wages are more than $26,000, which I would bet my life on it, he's paying more in those taxes than this employee is. The other factor here that I want to add in is that as the owner of any company, the company is matching dollar for dollar Social Security and Medicare taxes. They have to by law. And so those taxes being withheld from this employee's paycheck that they're paying, Donald Trump is paying the other half. That's how payroll taxes work. You pay half. The company pays half. And by company, it's the owner. The owner of the company pays half because any retained earnings in the company are the owners. So therefore, by default, the owner is paying these. You can't say you're paying more because he's paying the other half of them. His company is paying the other half of those taxes. The income taxes are just withholding. It's not what you actually ended up paying. Show me your tax return that shows me what you actually ended up paying. And so this is just, it's just political fodder. It's crap. It's baloney to stir up your emotions, and it clearly has it stirred up my emotions, but I want you to look at this from a logical perspective. This makes no sense from a tax perspective. If you are a tax person, you understand where they're bending the truth here just to make a political point. Now, I'm going to say it again because I don't want you getting all over me for defending Donald Trump. I am not defending him at all. What I am saying is stop misrepresenting Stop lying about taxes in order to prove a political point. There are plenty of other things that you can you can use to do that. You don't have to misrepresent the tax code. Why do I care so much that you're misrepresenting the tax code? Because I have clients who don't understand. They don't understand the tax code. You know, I, I help. I'm, I'm a CPA who actually helps and tries to explain these things to people so that they understand that their withholding is not the same as what they're actually paying in taxes. I, I help them understand that what their refund is is not what they're actually paying in income taxes. Those numbers, quite frankly, they don't matter. That's not what you're actually paying in income tax. You can see that on the tax return itself. And I want to try to help people understand this. And your articles are confusing the problem. They're making it harder to understand when it's really not that hard to understand if you have someone sit down and take the time to explain it to you. I'm sorry if your CPA doesn't do that. If you want a CPA who will sit down and explain these things to you, what's going on in your tax return, reach out to me. I do that with every single client who wants to, no matter how much you pay me. I will sit down after I prepare your tax return and explain it to you. And if you have questions, if you want to sit down next tax season and say, hey, I want to know if I paid more than Donald Trump in taxes, I will answer that question for you. Now, right now, honestly, I can't because I haven't seen the actual tax return, but I will answer it based on what I have uh, concluded from the New York Times article, who has given us the information we have. But I'll answer those questions for you. I'll explain it to you. It's not really that complicated if you have someone break it down for you. And if you stop reading these articles, if the article has more superlative language in there, more rhetoric language in there, if it has more emotional language in there than it does actual uh, facts and logic uh, and deduction reasoning from the tax code itself, then don't read that article about taxes. Read it about something else. Read it about Trump's response to immigration. Read it about Trump's response to foreign policy. Read it about other stuff. But the tax code is pretty straightforward. It's algebra. It's basic algebra. Again, I got another video coming out where I'm going to talk about Donald Trump. Is he a tax cheat? So look for that video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified of videos as they come out so that you don't miss that one. You can also like me on Facebook. That's where I post and LinkedIn where I post the links to the videos a lot. So follow those things. And like I said, if you need a CPA who, who actually understands these and throws it out the window, I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. I'm, I'm going to give you the truth about the tax code because... 
uh, it, it doesn't have partisan lines here. You know, it's written the same way for everyone. There's no tax code that says if you're Republican, you can deduct this. If you're Democrat, you can deduct this. So, you know, we're not going to worry about that crap. We're going to throw that out and I'm going to show you what's available to you, what's not available to you, how to potentially qualify for something that could be available to you, but might not be right now because you just simply haven't taken advantage of it. Uh, so there you go.